Hi guys, it's me, Chansney. I'm going to be talking about five things I wish I knew before studying fashion design, and I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Number one, money. So fashion design is actually really, really expensive and it's a huge investment, I believe anyways. For me personally, and I know for a lot of other people as well, um, if you live near a uni or even if you're quite close to the course where you're studying or you just have to go by train or whatever, it's still really expensive. For a lot of people, they have to sort of go outside of their towns or they go somewhere else. A lot of people go abroad and so for them it's already a huge investment and a financial from a financial point of view. Books, tools, fabrics, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, little things like that as well. Um, materials, not everything is provided by the uni. They do provide you with some stuff. So at my uni we're allowed to use the computers but we only had like certain slots we could use them in we had to also pay for printing as well if we wanted to print anything we had to like add credits onto our student cards so that was pretty expensive if we wanted stuff to be printed there or if they wanted to see things then and there we would have to print it out and obviously use our credits or whatever money we had on our cards just things really did add up with screen printing and things like that as well we could use some of the f like the stuff that they had but if we wanted to do extra work or especially when we got into our second and third years we did have to pay and also for materials and just things in general also digital printing as well which can be quite expensive you gotta pay for it yourself embellishments things that you want to use sketchbooks files folders poly pockets just all of the basic stationery as well so all these little things add up to be quite a lot and when you get to your third year where you have to make a collection and um, possibly exhibit it as well it does cost so much money just to buy the things to like put on the walls all this kind of stuff it just adds up a lot and then on top of that if you're exhibiting at say for example graduate fashion week or new designers i did new designers um we didn't do graduate fashion week but that also costs a lot, having your portfolios made and the pages that go inside that portfolio and the changes and everything and then keep reprinting it and all. It does add up to be quite expensive. On top of that, if you are abroad and you're studying fashion design or you've moved to another country or another city, it's probably going to be expensive for you, maybe with living costs and things like that. Obviously, there is a student loan that can potentially cover it, but obviously not everywhere supports student finance so it's 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 still expensive whether you are someone that lives at your uni or whether you've moved to be there so i would say that the first thing i wish i knew was regardless of whether you live close to your uni or not it's still going to be expensive yes there are ways in which you can try and eliminate the costs but it's still gonna cost like you just can't escape the fact that it does cost quite a lot of money and you are investing a lot into it and not only just is it an investment on that side of the point that point of view it's also a huge investment for internships as well because a lot of internships they don't actually pay their interns and so it's an investment on your part not just time wise but also can be money wise if you have to get the train to the place and sometimes they do cover the, t the cost depending on where you live but I live quite far away from London and I did my internships in London and I had to pay my train fare there and back every single day because like it's just it was the easiest way to just be there and back and it's a huge investment to, to do that but it looks good on my CV so I did it but again that's just another example of just how much investment goes into this particular area that we want to kind of get into there is just a huge amount of financial investment that does go into this so the second thing i wish i knew was that it is okay to be introverted it's okay to be a little bit shy it's okay to not talk as much i think that has changed over time as i have grown in more confidence but i wanted to bring this up because it is so personal to me and i actually do feel like a lot of people talk about it now like it's okay to be that way a lot of the times especially in fashion people always expect people to be really extroverted to have these crazy opinions and all that kind of stuff I've met a lot of fashion designers this year.
you. I've met a lot of fashion designers this year and so many of them are just dance, so humble, feet on the ground, so nice, so caring, so sharing and it just beats that whole stereotype of what we see that fashion designers and people in fashion in general have to be mean, bitchy, rude, arrogant, snobbish. It's like that doesn't matter. I think we're kind of moving more into like a phase where it's actually a really good thing to be a nice person. And I would definitely say if you're a more introverted person and you're worried about stepping into an industry where it's sort of more stereotypically known to be more extroverted and opinions and rude people, like I have come across those people, not gonna lie. But I've also come across extremely lovely people and it's not impossible in this industry. There are some really, really nice people. So I wouldn't let that get to you if you are worried about that kind of a thing. It's okay to be shy, it's okay to be introverted, it's okay to, to be like that. But I do feel because I was like that, I have grown in confidence and even doing presentations in front of people and all that kind of stuff, like it just helps you grow more as a person. It's okay to be the way that you are, even if you are more of an extroverted person, it's fine, but I'm just talking about those that are a bit more introverted and that are always looked down at for being shy or not always forcing their opinion or saying things. It is okay to be like that. Number three, <laughs> don't stress out too much. So when I first started, I was full on stressed. When even in first year, I was just always really stressed because of the amount of work. What I will say is don't stress, take it at your own pace, but make sure you're able to hit the deadlines and when work needs to be submitted. I think stress is one of those things that just comes with it, but I think if you are just able to pace yourself and make a good time management plan, it's gonna be fine. And by the time I was in my third year, I used to get things done ahead of time because I really tried to pay attention to that from first year. I feel like in the first year, people just in their mind, they just assume like, oh, it's fine. It's only the first year. I don't really need to put that much effort in. And then they just don't really bother with it. And believe me, I have seen that with lots of people. So I kind of know what happened with that whole situation. So what I would say is that just try and do as much time management, but try and do it from the very beginning of the first year so that when you get to your second year and your third year, you already are in the rhythm of getting work done and actually doing it well. Because I think when people get to second and third year, they think, oh shit, like I've actually got to like try and step up and do all of my work and complete it and I need to start taking it seriously. But like, I just, I don't see the point of why people write off their first year. Yes, it's not as important as your second and third year, but it is there for a reason. So make, make advantage, like take advantage of that and just try and manage time and it will be fine. And don't stress out too much. That is pretty much all linked together. Number four, the fourth thing that I wish I knew before starting this whole fashion design journey was that I wish I knew that jobs were really, really difficult. I didn't know. I was quite naive, not gonna lie. I thought it was quite easy to get a job in fashion or fashion design. I didn't think it was as hard as it was gonna be. And I'm not gonna lie, I struggled and I freelanced and it took me so many applications. I'm talking hundreds, hundreds, 700 to be exact. And that was actually quoted on the Channel 4 job interview show that I was on. It is correct as well, that number. I don't know if anyone's watched it, but I was on um, a series called The Job Interview on Channel 4 here in the UK. It aired, I think, March 1st, 2018. So if you guys want to see it, I think it's still on Channel 4 On Demand. But uh, yeah, I was on there and that's how I got my first job, like office job in fashion. I don't work there anymore, but I do freelance. And that just brings me back to what I was talking about in the beginning. The jobs in fashion are pretty, pretty difficult. You've got to network and connect with as many people as you possibly can. And it's just, I do think a lot of it is being at the right place at the right time. For example, if you're doing an internship somewhere and they actually need people to work there and they need extra help, they might take you on straight away. Whilst other places you can intern for <laughs> for a very long time and they still probably don't need you at the end of it. So again, it's all just, it's all part of that. It took me so many tries. So don't be disheartened if you're still applying for jobs and you know, you're just not getting there. Just keep going. I know how difficult it is because I've been there myself. 
and um, yeah jobs are difficult there's no doubt about it so I would personally if you if you can whilst you're actually studying try and get as much experience as you possibly can with internships and things like that so that when you do graduate or when you do finish the course you are able to have that experience on your CV But there's no denying that it is very difficult to get a job in fashion. Again, it just depends on where you are and what you do and all that kind of stuff. It's not impossible, but still. There's so many courses that are opening up doors for fashion students, but there's not as many jobs to support those graduates, which is really, really sad. But it's sort of the way it is right now. And I hope that as time progresses, the industry is able to have more jobs for people but also pay them right because it is an industry which is not paid as well as a lot of the other industries. The fashion textile industry it makes so much money and they pay not very much especially to the designers so I don't know if that's going to change but again that is another thing that I wish I knew is that how low the starting salaries can be in fashion. Especially if you work in London, like, you're gonna save really not very much at all. Finally, the fifth thing I wish I knew was compromising. This course will make you compromise everything from your social life to your sanity. Not even kidding. So it just leaves such little time to do other things. I found that even though I didn't live far away from my uni, I wasn't really able to go out as much, I wasn't really able to spend as much time with my friends or even sometimes my own family. Um, it was very, very time consuming and it was hectic and crazy, especially the third year. I really didn't have time to do a lot of other things. And yeah, if you guys are working as well, like it is very, very difficult because you will find yourself having to reschedule your work, especially if you have exhibitions coming up or you're trying to do an internship, you'll have to try and find like a balance with work and social life and your uni life. And it can be really, really exhausting, very, very challenging. And it's a huge compromise. And so, yeah, it just, it just takes a lot of, it just takes a lot of balancing a lot of organizing, time management, investing, compromising, you get my point. So those are five things I wish I knew before I started uni or fashion design. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.